Gonzaga rolled all over BYU tonight, 102 to 68, and there were plenty of seniors who had special moments on their senior night. Krem 2's Brenna Green is out at the McCarthy Athletic Center with all the details of how it went down. Senior night in the kennel did not disappoint with the Zags hitting the 100 point mark yet again, defeating BYU 102 to 68. The energy in this building was off the charts tonight and the team couldn't help but talk about it after the game. Like I said, we have the best student section in the world. So, I mean, we're just fortunate, just never t uh, taking it for granted. Make sure we uh, go out there, give them a show what they deserve. It was it was um, it was electric in here, and the fans were great. Um, the student section was great, and the bench was great, cheering everybody on. It was uh, an all-around effort. Couldn't be happier for our seniors. I mean, that's, it's a perfect night for them to, to go out, and there's great energy in the building, and uh, they're having a lot of fun in there right now. So, pretty cool. Fittingly, two seniors had great nights this evening. Josh Perkins had 21 points and at one point was seven for eight from the field. Gino Crandall was also a human highlight reel this evening, crossing guys up and pulling off incredible pass after incredible pass. It felt good. Yeah, I don't, like it was, it was fun to be a part of. So I think that was probably the biggest thing. And then, um, you know, made a couple plays. But uh, yeah, it felt it felt like another, like just any other game, a little bit in a sense. And then, you know, at times it's like, wow, this is this is different. There was something different about it. Just love the team was playing like that. You know, you see everybody on the bench jumping up and down. Um, hey, <laughs> um, you know, everybody's jumping up and down, playing for each other. You know, when we do that and emotions like that, you know, we're a scary team. You know, we just scored 100 points on BYU. Tonight could be Rui Hachimura's final game in the kennel, and he made it count. He had a double double with 23 points and 10 rebounds. A few spoke to his transformation over the last few years after the game. He's one of the best players in the country now, and uh, didn't start that way. So it's it, it's it's been a journey with him, but he's always believed, and and he's worked his tail off. I mean, his, Kid uh, has not had a whole lot of uh, free hours here at Gonzaga, whether it's been academic uh, uh, stuff, tutoring, or individual work. He's he's a he's a real worker, and uh, and even just you know me trying to get him to be more aggressive and understand and uh, you know how much harder he has to play and forceful. So uh, it's, it's great to see him uh, enjoying you know all the fruits uh, of all that work. Just a fun little note to report after the game. Josh Perkins was asked what it's like seeing Gino Crandall just absolutely tear guys up out there. And Gino leaned into the interview and said, I bet it's a lot more fun to watch when I'm not doing it to you. This team having a lot of fun and not afraid to pull some chokes on each other. Reporting in the kennel, I'm Brenna Green, Crim2 Sports. But Gonzaga basketball got some other big news. Omar Ballo is now a 2019 commit for the Gonzaga class. He's a 6'10", 240-pound 16-year-old whose nickname is Baby Shaq. He just had his visit this past week and committed today. He's considered a five-star talent. Ballo is a physical big man who can bully his way to the rim, but also has a soft touch on his turnaround jumper. So yet another big add to the 2019 class for Gonzaga Mets basketball.